there's a lot of talk about the sort of New York versus uh, California kind of stuff. Like, how do you, uh, personally, I don't like to, I hate the framing of it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think it should be New York versus California. I think yeah. it should be New York along with California versus, let's say, Wall Street or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. like, let's That's have, the other New York battle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're fighting on two fronts. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so, I mean, I love California. I think yeah. the spirit of California coming to yeah. New York is a great thing. But just can you talk a little bit about what it's been like uh, to, you know, start a com tech company in New York? There are, there are, I think there are pluses and minuses. Um, and, you know, I, at first, for our kind of product that's a very social product and real world product, mm -hmm. New York is like the ultimate place to be, right? So we take this thing out every night. So many social circles interacting, you know, very, very frequently. Um, yeah, I don't, we wouldn't have had this problem had we not lived in New York City. I think it's pretty straightforward. Or we wouldn't have created it. I mean, the feedback loop is great here, mm -hmm. you know, like, and you get such a wide, diverse set of people. Like, you're not really kind of in the tech bubble, if mm -hmm. you will. Like, you know, there's a lot of normal people. Um, that use the product from all different walks of, of life. Yeah, I've heard that before, that one of the benefits of New York is, you know, I mean, there's, there's pluses and minuses to both places, yeah. but one of the benefits of New York is just that you hang out with a lot of non-tech people yeah, and therefore are kind of kept grounded maybe. In, yeah, in, I, you know, to be honest, like the New York tech scene is very new to me, you know, like I, only the last couple months have it become like a, even a thing. Um, and then, so that feedback, the press here is great too. Uh, the media outlets, should if you're in New York, you should definitely use them to your advantage. I think one of the hard things that we realized though, when we went out west on a some of our trips, is that there's, there's a lot of resources out west that like, if you don't take advantage of, you're just flat out missing out on. Yeah. And there's a lot of personal relationships out there. You know, Ron so like Con I, like I met you guys actually out there in Ron's, California yeah. with, with Ron Conway. Yeah, yeah, so he has been like our, you know, Connection to the West, and without him, I don't know how well, he's incredible. Really, I mean, I've, he's yeah. he's he's been. I've had him now an investor in two of my companies, and he's been by far the most helpful person mm -hmm. ever. I, mean, I think there's a reason why he's Ron Conway, and people <laughs> say the things about him that they do. I mean, yeah. they're, they're they're all true. The whole he's team, the best. too. His whole team, the whole SB Angel team, yeah. they're so good to us. You know, they're out here a good amount too, um, and they're there whenever we need them. And we have a group with them, and it's. And it's I think particularly for New York it's companies, it's great to have him because he sort of just is, is so well connected in the West Coast and yeah. we aren't. And so, yeah, you know, no, it's, it's I, so I, I mean, that would be advice, you know, that, that would be advice to. Um, I tell know, people here they're crazy if they don't like try, do everything them. they can to get him. Go after yeah. them. Go and make sure you have, you know, if you don't get Ron, uh, make sure you have someone from the West Coast, though, because there is there's opportunities you will miss without it. But I love I love what he always says, too, or what the SV team says, where, where they get involved at inflection points, because, mm -hmm. you know, there's this perception that. Well, you know, they have however many hundred portfolio companies out there. How can they actually spend time with each and every one of them? Well, the fact of the matter is they do, mm -hmm. and they get involved with them when it actually matters most, right. and they make things happen, like, instantaneously, right. whether it's an introduction to so somebody. So you send them an email, yeah. like, I need an introduction to so-and-so. You get this email back the on it. The all caps. Yep. The all caps on, on it. it. <laughs> I need to get this deal <laughs> and done and then, on And then it happens. Like, yep. it's amazing, right? Yeah, but it's yeah, but that's the thing people don't, I think. They have to reach out, too. The like, way they scale out, is they don't, yeah. get, they don't like, say, hey, you should create a Facebook app and right. get involved with the product right. and do all these sorts of right. things, which... Frankly, I don't think investors should be doing, but right, right. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Um, and the way they, right, but, but the times you need them, it's sort of like they come, they swoop in and they like do their thing, and it's like incredibly helpful. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, uh, uh, and, and you, have you found like a lot of symptoms, one of the things people say about New York is it's harder to hire engineers? Um, so we've lucked out. Um, so my engineering background at Gilt um, allowed us to to do pretty well initially on the hires, and we've had great inbound on that, and. Um, we haven't really hired anyone from a resume yet. Yeah. Um, so it's been, it's been good, but it is a, definitely a challenge. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it's, it is. Uh, my personal experience, just having been involved with companies on the West Coast, is a challenge everywhere. It's a different yeah. type of yep. like here. It's maybe harder to first get them, but then and also you're recruiting against Wall Street is different. Whereas yep. out there, you know, that people want to go to startups. There's more startups, and also the turnover is high because once you get them, they're out chatting with other startups right. all the time, yeah. and, and like, they go and do their own startup. Um, and then, yeah. 